All right, so we're back again with another video, and I want to start with Freeway Token FWT. It's actually run by a company called Orbit.io, and we'll have a look at the website in a minute. But as you can see, it's on CoinGecko, so that's always a good sign. It shows here that it's at 87% within the last 24 hours. No market cap information here, circulating supply at 10 billion. All right, but looking at the chart now, we was trading this last night in the group. Okay, I managed to take some profits uh, up here. Okay, it's since dropped, and now it looks like it's getting just a little bit of a spike of green. And um, whether it can maintain uh, strength and continue to the upside, that is yet to be seen. But if we look on a larger time frame, it does look a little bit uh, fancier, a little bit um, cleaner. All right, guys, uh, hopefully, we can get some more upside on that. You can see this volume coming in. All right, and uh, it might look like it is up high already, but I believe it's only roughly about 300% ish. Uh, okay, it went up a little bit more than that, 426%. If you look at it um, in, in, in terms of today's price, um, it is having a pullback and it is now down 223%. Okay, so we can see that it has from the previous high come down approximately. 30 40 percent okay uh at its current price point okay now why do i think this is a good project all right um we can see that um other people do obviously based on this price action but i think this is a great project um for the simple fact that um if you go on the website um, they have a great team okay so let's just click on that and go and check out the website okay so basically orbit is a ground breaking new asset management platform built for greater total returns on the world's top investment products and asset classes okay so um yeah obviously the website looks uh, uh, kind of okay that's not what caught my eye with this but if you look at some of their partners they have trust swap who is actually a partner all right and I, I don't know any of these companies right here the only one that stands out th uh, there for me is trust swap but if i did a bit of research on those um who knows what i'd come up with all right but the orbit network aims to be the first to bring the power of network effects to the finance and asset management sectors okay now big tech obviously is massive business all right so they've definitely got something there Okay, um, they've got a potentially game changing regulatory infrastructure plans for global accessibility. So, who knows whether they're getting the government on board with this? All right, but um, yeah, so it is orbit.io or orbit a u b i t, but their token is the freeway token. Uh, okay, and uh, it is in the testnet at the moment. But if we look at the uh, team and some of the uh, uh, um, some of the companies that they've worked with, you know, we're looking at you know Goldman Sachs, HSBC, Fidelity, Credit Suisse, Morgan Stanley, IBM, Google, and the Prudential. You can see there's even more over here, like Vodafone, Carlsberg, Shell, Walmart, Verizon. You know, Barclays Bank, HSBC, which we mentioned already, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan. Okay, some big names there. Google, right here, IBM. You know, so um, you know this looks beautiful. Um, um, you know this 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 background here, and and some of the, the financial services that some of these people have been involved in. If we look at the team, we have the founder and the CEO here, and um, he developed Orbit. Obviously, um, it doesn't show that he's had any uh, massive experience in um, any of these companies but it did says he was a top fintech expert globally apparently okay um this lady here she's got 20 years in senior leadership roles uh, we've got an entrepreneur over here we have uh, this guy who's got a 75 billion uh, portfolio a multi award winning designer over here um, um, in fintech platforms, blockchain payments, and so on. And um, this person over here, who was a uh, uh, you know, someone high up in Carlsberg and Danone. Okay, if you don't know those companies, Carlsberg is beer, Danone is dairy products. All right, we also have the advisors. Okay, now this is where it starts to get special. All right, so the advisors are obviously, um, you know, uh, I'm not even going to go through that because you can see they're probably um, this. This is what this is all about. All right, so um, all right, let's just have a quick look. Okay, we got this guy with Goldman Sachs, HSBC, uh, Douche Bank, you know. Um, 
Bank of England, the Biomotor, uh, FCA, uh, Financial Conduct or, uh, Authority, or whatever they're called. We have uh, another fintech guy over here. Um, got a, a Wells Fargo and Morgan Stanley guy over here. All right. So if we look at the roadmap, you'll see that we are in Q4, which is the testnet phase, the orbit chain testnet and the private alpha. In 2021, it will go over to the main net and the invite only beta, people start testing out that platform. Okay. And so on, the roadmap continues. You can check that out on the website. You can also follow them on Twitter and, and uh, Telegram. All right, guys, so we've got a little community building up and, you know, price action is always the first thing that I like to look at with something like this, but it has just started to move. Um, would have been nicer to get in down here, but it's always good to get in as well when you see signs of life. All right, so this for me could potentially be something great. Like I said, see that volume coming in, that volume there is beautiful, all right? And I do expect to see some follow through um, off the back of that. One that I'd like to let you know about um, is Circulate Finance, okay? Did a video about this the other day and um, they are they have a token called the cert token which is cir okay for circulate of course um first lending protocol on the tron network okay you can go and check out my video for that but the pre-sale is now live since the 10th of november that's now live pre-sale is only going to be live for five days okay so you've got until november the 15th to get in on this pre-sale and who knows how it will perform when it does take off i mean i love projects that have a first mover advantage and um they might not be have the first mover advantage in terms of DeFi lending but um in terms of being the first one on the tron protocol if you are a tron fan you like trx or whatever you know this is going to be one for you and you know um it's always good to have a first mover in my opinion i do have some circulate finance I did a sponsor video they gave me some circulate tokens i will be holding those tokens when it launches see how it performs okay and hopefully i'll make a nice uh, profit on that all right now i wanted to just quickly address got a few people that are asking me to look at a few tokens we have yearn finance free we also have y FDFI, which people keep coming at me about, and we also have YFC um, Finance Center, one which I am uh, personally invested in um, since pre sale. Okay, and we might as well start with this um, as soon as we ended on it. So, um, the pre sale uh, has now ended, I believe, despite what it says here. All the tokens have been sold. If we look in the Telegram group, the YFC announcements group and um, they did announce that uh, they are going to be listing on Biki exchange don't know about Biki exchange never heard of it until they mentioned it to be honest but they will announce the deposit and trading start time and this is going to be live also on Uniswap uh, approximately eight hours before the actual Biki trading starts okay so if you've been waiting for it it's, I don't know whether it's going to be today. I don't know whether it's going to be tomorrow. We're waiting for an announcement um, to see uh, uh, when it goes live on Biki Exchange and when it is going live on Biki Exchange. We know that it's you know between eight and ten hours uh, where it should be on Uniswap before that. Okay, if we go to my channel, I know somebody posted something about this. Whether it's the same thing. Um, it said the Biki listing is confirmed. Stay tuned for deposit and trading schedule. Pre listing teaser for Biki. Zero tokens remaining for sale. That's what I saw that. Okay, so the pre sale is ended. New investors should buy from exchanges. It will be listed on Uniswap and Biki Exchange soon. Okay, so what they decided to do was burn 98% of the tokens, which they've done already. Okay, so they reduced the supply drastically down to only 1300 tokens. 1300 so it's another low supply uh a gem hidden gem um i can't say pre-sale anymore because it's no longer in the pre-sale okay the private sale they did do a thousand tokens farming and staking will be 200 tokens exchange will be 100 yfc all right got the proof of burning here okay so you can check that out maybe i'll leave a link in the description for this you can check that out for yourself all right and uh, yeah hopefully this will be one that takes off now i invested in this before okay but um i did say to myself i'm no longer going to be investing in forks because a few forks that i've invested in i've got wrecked on okay um but you know 
at the end of the day, I don't put everything into them. So, um, yeah, that is Yearn Finance Center, YFC. We will only have to wait and see how this performs, okay? I'm hoping that people are going to FOMO into this because it's another low supply um, fork of Yearn Finance, okay? We see many forks of Yearn Finance. And just because it's a fork of Yearn Finance doesn't mean it has to perform great, all right? So, yeah, moving on to YFDFI. This is another one that uh, you guys keep asking me about. Okay, um, the only thing I can see that looks anything, you know, worth talking about on this is the fact that you can earn up to 7.2% interest weekly if you are staking your YFD. Um, haven't looked into this extensively. I did talk about it on a live stream quickly and very briefly as well. The total supply is 20K. So, that's obviously less than, you know, yeah, finance is 30K. They did pass um, an audit, all right? So, um, you know, you can go and check that out as well. They have DFI Exchange as well, and they are available on Uniswap for you to buy. So, and, and obviously you can stake it, all right, guys? So yeah, go and check out YFDFI. Finally, before we close this video, uh, we have Yearn Finance Free. Now, I'm not gonna go through this because I haven't really looked at it myself. I just thought I'd get up the website before we started the video. But one thing I will say is a little bit of information that I did find on this. It says that apparently Andre Kanji, the founder of Yearn Finance, the founder of Keeper or Keep Free VR, is apparently one of the developers on this team. I don't know whether it's true or not, but um, that's what I heard, okay? And that's what I read. I can't tell you where I read it, but I know I did read that sometime yesterday or the day before, okay? So that is YFI free. Um, I believe this may potentially be in pre-sale stage still, okay? The total supply is 40K, all right? And um, like I said, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna go through this at the moment. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video, but this video is getting on, so I need to bring it to an end. Okay, the release of the product, three days, 12 hours, 42 minutes and 18 seconds. Okay, so plenty of time for you to go and check that out for yourself and do your own research. All right, so that's about it for now, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts. You can also join me on Twitter at Crypto Lightsaber, C R Y P T O L Y T S A B E R. I am now also on Instagram. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay, and it's at Liam Temple, L E O M T E M P L E. That's my name. And also, you can become a Patreon. That gives you access to the Telegram channel. Okay, so link is in the description for that and I'll see you guys in the next video.